Hey everyone, welcome to this Tower TV buying guide for the E-Flight Air Tractor. Now we're going to take a second and kind of admire the scale detail on this air tractor. Uh, it is obviously detailed towards a crop duster, uh, which is pretty big here in the Midwest. If you don't know what a crop duster is, make sure you look that up on Google because this is a very close replica of a crop duster. Uh, one of my favorite parts is the paint scheme. Makes it look very vibrant in the sky. You can easily see it when you're flying. Um, the other cool thing I like is that actually the hinges on the bottom, you can see them over there on the far right, they actually look like uh, the crop duster where the crop dust would come out of. So I like that they kind of tried to make the hinge look like where the crop dust would actually come out. Uh, the other nice thing is they put a pilot in there looks just like a regular crop dust pilot, uh, nothing real special there. Um, this hatch opener kind of looks like a little engine up top. Uh, we'll get into that in a second, uh, go into more of the actual details of the plane. So this does come in a bind and fly basic with AS3X and safe. Uh, so bind and fly basic is gonna be no transmitter, uh, but does come with a spectrum receiver, obviously with AS3X and safe, like I said. And then it also comes in a PNP version. So that's gonna be no transmitter, no receiver, so you can just get the plane, put your own receiver in, and start flying. Now it does come with a 50 amp ESC, and that's capable of 3S and 4S power. Now you can use anywhere from a 2200 to a 3200, and that's gonna keep the CG nice and level. And there's also plenty of room inside the hatch area on this plane. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the hatch so you guys can see the inside and uh, see how much room there is in there for a big battery. So as you can tell, there's a lot of space for the battery to sit. Uh, that ESC wire is coming out at a nice good spot for the battery to plug into. You, there is actually a gap in the front half of the battery tray where the battery actually slides forward a bit more to get the weight more forward if you need it. And then uh, your receiver's got real easy access back here. Uh, if you wanted to put some telemetry features on there, there's nice plugs to get into that AR637T. Uh, now this is a 1.5 meter plane, so that's gonna be from wingtip to wingtip is 1.5 meters. Um, it also can have optional floats and skis, so you can buy those separately. Um, in my opinion, it does look a little weird on floats uh, just because it's not really meant to fly on floats. Uh, the the full-scale plane is not really meant to have floats on it. Um, the skis do look kind of cool on it just because they're pretty little, but the floats are a pretty big addition to it, so it looks a little weird in my opinion. No big deal, though. You don't have to buy the floats or the skis. You can just fly it off of uh, grass or pavement with the landing gear that comes stock on the plane. So last but not least is the assembly or deassembly of the plane. So the wings come off with two screws for each wing, so four screws to get the wing off. And it's got the nice plug-in clips for the aileron and flap servos, so you don't have to worry about plugging them in. You can kind of just clip the wing in and it'll fit right in nice and perfect. And then the horizontal stabilizer has just two clips on each side that you kind of just push up and pull out. Uh, nice, easy deassembly to fit in probably almost any car. Uh, there's not much room that this thing takes up only being a 1.5 meter, especially with the wing coming off that easy. There's not that much room it takes up in a car. So I hope you guys uh, got a little bit more information on the air tractor in this buying guide. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.